Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I'm going to share 15 ways to upcycle or alter your old jeans. Please check the description box for the links to the full tutorials. Alright, I'm going to kick this off with one of my recent favorites. Try adding jeans and a chambray shirt together to make a really cool one piece jumpsuit. I really like this idea because with the flap out on one side, it looks like a two piece on one side. But the drawstring definitely lets everyone know that it is an amazing jumpsuit. Okay, so now let's solve all the different fit issues that jeans can give you. This one is for all the girls with a little junk in the trunk that makes those jeans gap in the back. Try adding a little elastic in the back waistband and voila, no more gap. Okay, so what if the jeans are too short? Here's a couple of really cool ways to make them longer. Try taking the leg pieces of some jeans that you may have cropped or made into shorts and add the length to the bottom of those two short jeans. But try cutting it at an angle and then sewing them together. I think it makes for a really cool contrast. And speaking of contrast, why not do the same thing but turn the bottom pieces inside out? These are one of my current favorite pairs of jeans and it's a really cool project even when the jeans aren't too short. Okay, let's talk about a couple of ways to make jeans skinny. Now, of course, you could just turn them inside out and take them in on the seam that's not the flat fail seam and that would be perfectly wonderful. But here's a couple of really cool ways to do it. Try taking the pockets off and making an exposed seam right down the back on each side so that they fit how you like. Add the pockets back on and then throw them in the wash to fray naturally. And then you can also take them in on the front. This one works so good on that really heavy vintage denim. Two seams up the front and just use a seam ripper to pull the strings to get a nice deep fray in the front. The fraying on this does take a little bit of patience, but I promise it is worth it. And if you have a couple of pair of jeans that are just too big for you, you'll definitely want to try some two-tone jeans. You can take the front of one pair and add it to the back of another, like these. Or you can take one side of one pair and add it to the other side of the other pair and sew them together, like these. And yes, these are also one of my current favorites. But you can also use jeans that are too tight to create a two-toned effect. For these, I use the inside of one pair and the outside of another. I put them on inside out and pin them until they fit. And then I just sewed them. You can totally make them skinny, but I decided to add some triangle pieces from a third pair of jeans and make them wide leg. And you'll totally see at the end why I have so much denim laying around. I left the edges exactly how they were and I absolutely love them. And here's a few more amazing ways to make jeans bigger. Why not take your favorite brand of track pants and add the side seams to your jeans? This is one of my new favorite things to do. Just cut the jeans down the side and sew in the side seams from the track pants. You can even keep the pockets and the logo of the track pants for an added bonus. These red Reebok side snaps made for a really amazing retro feeling upcycle. And the classic Adidas stripes added to these vintage Levi's made for an absolutely iconic upcycle. And if you're feeling really adventurous, try adding the sides of a flowy skirt to your jeans. You'll have all the movement and drama a girl could ever need. And once you've done some of these projects, you'll most definitely have some scraps left over. Try making patches out of those. You can add those patches to jackets or even to your jeans. And let's finish this off with my ultimate, ultimate jean upcycle and the reason why I had enough denim left over to create all these other projects. Try using your favorite part of the jeans. Mine is that flat fail seam that we talked about earlier. I took this seam off of 25, yes, 25 pairs of jeans and put them all together to make this amazing, really cool top with an open back. It is my ultimate jean upcycle. And if you were wondering, yes, I still have plenty of denim left over for other projects. And if you wanna see what I do next with all that denim, Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Check the description box for all the full tutorial links and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.